Welcome to Clef Investments. Last time we talked about how to borrow money from your brokers so that you never need to pay tax when you want to use the money of your stock. This time I want to introduce a new method to borrow money, which is called box spread. So this method is better than stock bank loan because first it can give you a lower interest rate. Usually you can get a interest rate approximately 0.3% on top of the US government uh, treasury rate. And this is lower than any broker you can get. So for example, as of today, uh, in beginning of December, 2023, the one year tre treasury rate is about 5.13. You can check this website to find out more details. And you can borrow money at around 5.43. And the interest rate in interactive brokers, which is a broker that offers a stock, stock banked loan with the lowest interest rate I can find, it still has a higher interest rate. And also another big advantage of borrowing money using box spread is that all the interest you paid to the, uh, to the box spread are considered capital loss. Actually it's 60% long-term capital loss and 40% short-term capital loss. So this means you can use this interest or capital loss to offset your other capital gains when you sell stock, when you sell your rental house, anything that generates capital gain. So that means it can further reduce your tax. So with box spread, you can borrow money at different terms. And the longest I used is two years. Longer than two years, I found that it's not very effective due to the liquidity of the options. But it's okay because you can borrow for a short period of time and then you can borrow again and again, no limit. There's a few small downsides of using box spread. So first, you need to pay all the interest at the beginning of the trade and you cannot refinance in the middle of the borrowing period. So if you are borrowing for two years, you need to prepay a lot of interest, which is a factor you can consider. And also there's a little bit of a learning curve of how you do the box spread, but don't worry. I will show you exactly how to do it. And you just follow it after you practice a few times, it will become very easy. And also it has some limitations of what broker you can use. So your broker must support portfolio margin and also you have to be able to treat option spread, which means you can place a trade that open multiple options at the same time. And also your broker should not charge you interest when the cash in the account is not negative. For me, I use interactive brokers. I don't know whether other brokers work, but if you know it, please share it in the comment section. So because box spread it's a stock options uh, trade. So let's first do a very quick introduction of what is a stock option. So you can find plenty of materials about the basics of stock options. And here I will only mention a few key terminologies that can be used uh, when placing a box spread. So in short, a stock option is a contract to give you a right to buy or sell equity at the strike price on or before the expiration date. So each option has a strike price, has an expiration date. And the call, if you buy a call, you have the right to buy the underlying equity. And if you buy a put, you have the right to sell. But if you sell a call, you have the obligation to sell the stock. And if you sell a put, 
you also have the obligation to buy the stock at a specific price. So option buyers can exercise the options to buy and sell so that they can start buying or sell, selling at the strike price. And option sellers uh, are called assigned when the option buyers exercise their options. And also there are two styles of the stock options about when the option can be exercised. The most common one is called the American style. The option buyer can exercise at any time as long as option is not expired. And the other option, the other style is called the European style, which is what we care about when we are doing the box spread. So it can only exercise on the exact day of the expiration date. For example, the index option of S&P 500 called SPX. So SPX option is a European style. And for box spread, we will always use European style. You may heard scary stories about options. So are options risky or is the box spread using option, is it a risky method to borrow money? No, options can be risky. Option is a tool. It can be used for many things. You can use it to speculate, to guess the direction of a stock or an index or futures, and it can increase your risk of portfolio. But you can also use option in a way so that to protect the value of your portfolio and reduce the risk of your portfolio. So it's a tool, you can use it in any way you want. And for our purpose, using box doesn't give you any new risk. It's a very safe method to borrow money. Okay, now let's look at what is a box spread or specifically because we want to borrow money, we want to short a box spread, which means we want to sell it and get some cash back. So a short box spread is a combination of the following options. And they have to expire on the same date based on the same equity, which we always use SPX, a European style option. So you first need to pick the size of the box. The bigger the box, the more money you are borrowing. And of course, the more interest you're paying. So you pick two strike prices, the lower price and higher price. And then now you sell a call and the lower strike, buy a call and the higher strike. And then you reverse that You sit on the put. You sell the put and the higher strike and buy a put and the uh, lower strike. Sorry, this is a typo. It, I mean, you buy a put. I'll fix the slide later. So all the four positions must be filled at the same time and a single trade. And the size of the box is the difference between the two strikes, high, minus, low. And remember, because each option contract equivalents to 100 shares of the underlying stock. So you use a high strike minus low strike times 100, which is the amount of money, total money, you have to return. We call this N. Uh, the total money you have to return and the expiration date. And we use short box spread as a method to borrow money from the uh, stock market. So when you place the trade, you will get slightly less money than the number N. This becomes a cash into your account because the call you sold is higher price, the put you sold is also higher price uh, than the put you buy. And now uh, on the expiration day, you wait uh, on the expiration day, you will lose cash amount of N uh, from your account. So you don't need to do anything with it. You just wait for it to expire. Or optionally, 
you could close the box spread if you feel you no longer want to borrow the money, but then you need to pay a commission. And once you place the trade, because your account has some cash, uh, slightly less than N, you can withdraw that cash and use the cash uh, for any other purpose. That's assuming your account have other equities as collateral so that your broker would allow you to do that. Okay, so we will share more details about uh, the box spread next time. Thank you.